All right, so this is a video on um, ascension. I guess we call it that, the ascension energy. The energies that are coming in right now, they're so strong. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever took time and you did meditations and you um, found yourself quieting the mind over the past couple of years, you may have noticed that the... I don't want to say the intensity, but the the field that you open your mind to perhaps has changed. Perhaps it's, it feels stronger. The past few months it's gotten even stronger to a point where you might have problems speaking and you just feel it all the time. Instead of having to go to a place to meditate, now it's there when you open your eyes and you walk. Um, it's almost like the field is, if the field was the canvas, it is starting to permeate through the painting more. In the painting, we see his life. That's what I've noticed, and uh, it's nice to be able to talk to Deanna, who has noticed this too. Especially lately, it gives you more of like, almost like the intensity of the energy is just becoming so much. You have to really take out time to rest because it's like, I feel like it's just cleaning out everything inside of me. And like the word when I was meditating the other day that came to me was recalibrating me. So it's like, we were talking earlier about how it's just kind of hard to speak sometimes. You can't even put like thoughts into words because it's like, for me, I feel like I'm not fully here. Like I can't use my logical brain that much. Like I'm just feeling things so much. And so um, a lot of our consciousness is like in other places while our body is being recalibrated on the earth. That's what I feel. And, um, I like how you, <laughs> I like how you said it was like taking mushrooms. It was, <laughs> it was like, like taking this, mushrooms. Like which the I did one of time you, and the, that was funny as hell. It was, it was so the much feeling fun. of when you first ingest mushrooms, it's like things just start to appear differently to you. Like your perception changes. Well, to me, it's like it. It's like um, I have like a magnifying glass on in my brain or something. Like I can see everything more clearly, and everything becomes more potent and more. Um, you just see differently. So that's like what it's been feeling like. I just feel like the whole chemistry of my body is changing, and my perception is changing, and so. It is like, it causes you to need a lot of rest and just a lot of stillness and just being in nature and drinking a lot of water because... The other thing it does is, you mentioned this and we both agree to this, the daily tasks that you do in life, um, as much as I hate to say it, you might be working a job or you might be doing some things that normally were important to you suddenly just don't seem like they're important anymore. They kind of become funny. Like, wow, they become is, like hilarious. Yeah. Like you're like, I'm driving to go deliver a paper to someplace. Right. And you're like, well, I was doing so I was hilarious. doing DoorDash for a while, and I was like, this is so funny. I'm delivering food. Yeah. <laughs> so then, you like see, yeah. it's like our consciousness is just opening up and becoming bigger. So we see our full potential. So the little daily tasks that were keeping us busy, basically keeping us from being our full potential, seem hilarious because you're just like, I am like way bigger than this. Why am I doing this simple task of delivering french fries like you would do yeah. <laughs> or whatever? The other thing that's happened is um, if you have connection to, I'm going to say, spirit guides or... Um, A type of higher intelligence yeah, that and you this communicate could be, with. Yeah, this could be a connection with... Um, Christ, mm -hmm. um, which you have Jesus Christ, you have Buddha Christ, Krishna Christ, the Christ energy. Um, but Jesus is a any good one. of the any of yeah. the angels you can connect with, and any ascended you'll, masters you can connect with, and you also have your own spirit guides. Yeah, you'll find that you can communicate with them very easily. Um, so, 
I guess during this, if you're, if you're watching this and you're saying, how oh, does this make sense? Sit and stop and honor it. And I, I don't have any thing to tell you about what to do and how to embrace it or keep it or move it forward or what to do next. I would say just allow it to be. Just feel, just stop. I would say just anything that you're holding on to, just let it go. Any of the things that you've been holding on to in your life, a way that you think things should be or have to be or anything that's causing you strain, let it go. Just let go of anything that doesn't make you feel good in the present moment. Yeah. And get pine needles. <laughs> pine needle tape. I found those. So, so, so. <laughs> they were laying on the ground, so I'll make some pine needle tape. Yep, and spend time in nature if you can and just Yeah, that seems to be a huge difference. If you go into nature, it's like, whoa, okay, this is where I can really relax the mind. And notice the whispers that come from deep within you. They're like you know, now I feel like I don't have as much um, busyness going on in my mind and it's just easier to just like sort of sink in and know um, what spirit is trying to tell me so right, yeah done. and we have a big tree back here oh yeah check it out tree. it's really beautiful and I wish we could show the other way here like this we just found this really beautiful spot and hunting can be and alrighty, peace out. <laughs>